Hello, I'm Alexia Maria Orwella reporting for Hollywood Connections with the Darn Rachel on TN Talk Radio. And I'm here with a writer and director, and actually this is his movie right here, Night Eyes, and it's showing here at the Orlando Film Festival. So how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? So can you tell everybody your name? My name is uh, David Koshred. I'm from the Netherlands, and yeah, I'm here with uh, my movie Night Eyes. So can you tell us a little bit about your movie? Uh, very short. It's a psychological thriller with a little paranormal twist. It's about a, a, a woman who suffers from out-of-body experiences and when she gets into a very dark place and no one is able to help her, she has to do, through her out-of-body experience, she has to save herself. Wow, that sounds very interesting. So is this the first time showing? Uh, first time showing in Orlando? Yes. It's been at other festivals though. That's great. And what gave you the inspiration to write this film? Uh, it's actually based upon a, a Dutch novel and he's been called the writer, uh, the Dutch Stephen King. And I uh, was actually approached by him and he was like, maybe we can collaborate because he liked my movies, I liked his writing style. And we did, basically did a collaboration. He had his book, uh, it was based upon it and uh, I was able to rewrite it into a movie with my own facets that I wanted to put in there. And uh, yeah, Night Eyes came out of that, yeah. Is this your first time attending the Orlando Film Festival? Yes, this is the first time. It was How's a great experience. experience. Yeah, great experience. Yeah, I really like it. And what gave you the inspiration to become a writer? Ooh, this is a tough question. <laughs> Inspiration. Uh, I would say my main inspiration has been Hollywood movies. I mean, I grew up with them. I used to watch them ever since I was a little little kid. And I just saw something in it and I was like, I want to do that myself. I want to tell visual stories to a large audience and wherever in the world, and especially now in Orlando. <laughs> and what was your most favorite experience while you were on set shooting this movie? Well, as hopefully a lot of independent filmmakers will tell you, when you're making a movie for no money, it's a horrible experience. But in the end, of course, it pays off. The best, the best experience, I would say, is I, I did a lot of effort to get my first feature film done with no money, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. And it, it came out really good. Congratulations on that. And if anybody wanted to see this film that they're not attending the film festival, is there a link um, for a website, or is it going to be on DVD soon? Can you explain? Yeah, sure. Uh, right now, uh, we just have signed a deal with an online video on demand graphic it's called and it will be probably uh, on all the major video on demand sites from January 2016 for now you can just go to uh, www.nighteyesthemovie.com you can see the trailer and see the story behind the movie is there any upcoming places that the movie is going to be showing after this uh, no, not at the moment. Right now, we did have a theatrical release in Europe, which was really cool. We played in five cinemas, and we had some great reviews, so that's cool. And uh, no, for now, this is going to be probably the last uh, festival that I'm going through because we just got the, the video on demand deal, so that's the next thing that's going to happen. And if anybody wanted to find you to contact you as a writer director, do you have any contact information, um, a website that anybody can reach you at? Yeah, you can reach me at uh, my website. It's called www. which I don't have to say, but I like to say it anyways. It's uh, codaproductions.com. Is there any advice you love to give to um, inspiring writers, directors, actors, anybody who wants to be in this kind of business industry? Yeah, most important thing nowadays is that you have to make your feature film because uh, about 10 years ago you would have succeeded into the business, I think, if you've made a really good short film. Nowadays, no one's going to look at the short films anymore when you want to become a feature film director. You have to do it yourself. So whenever everyone tells you don't or stop or I'm not going to help you, try to find ways to make your movie that you want to make for no money and make it really good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you. And you guys should definitely check out Night Eyes. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more interviews.